So the third practicum, which is due this coming October 30th, um, asks for us to estimate the gross sales on October 30th, that, that very day. And we've moved beyond this whole just reporting the sample statistics into we can now produce confidence intervals, which indicate not just our most expected value, but also a range of reasonable values by the way that we're defining reasonable, 95% for this course. So we're going to load the data, um, got to use the data correctly, and most importantly, yeah, graphics are important, but we need to defend our choice in the analysis and explicitly state which data we're going to use. So again, gross sales, I'll go ahead and make those hidden, don't need those. So gross, gross sales. Now October 30th is in the fall. So it makes sense that I'd only include fall data. I mean, I mean, especially in Stillwater, I wouldn't include July 14th because it's July. There's not many Stillwater people there. But it's in the fall, so there'd be a, a, a football issue here, if, if nothing else. So I'm going to just use the data from October and November in both years, 14 and 15. So I'm going to create a new tab. Hopefully, double click. Oh, good. Um, make it the less data. So October and November. I'm going to copy the top row over. Make this bigger too. There we go. So October, November of 14. Control C to copy. You're absolutely right, we don't need those variables. And then October, November for the next year. C to copy, control V to paste. Okay, so there's my parsed data. So now we have to do a confidence interval. We have mean, standard deviation, sample size, those are important things. You also have to get the T value. Wait, why are we using the T? Well, we're using the T because we don't know the population standard deviation. We've got the sample standard deviation, but we don't have the popular, uh, don't have the population. Uh, the margin of error, then we'll have a lower confidence limit and an upper confidence limit. Okay. So the mean, the function to calculate the mean is just average and the column is C. So the mean is 2668.467. That's actually going to be our point estimate. That's going to be our best guess. Standard deviation is TDEV.S because it's a sample again from the C column. N count uh, C column 122 T value again since this is a 95% confidence interval T dot INV dot 2 T because it's a two-tailed confidence interval probability 0 0.05 sample size again is going to be n minus 1 and it's always n minus 1 for one sample case and we're only dealing with one sample we're not comparing anything. We're just trying to estimate a single population parameter. Margin of error is everything to the right of the plus minus sign in the formula. This is just equal to the t-value times the standard deviation, s, divided by the square root of the sample size. So we're 95 percent confident that the gross, the expected gross sales on October 30th, 2016 is going to be the mean. It's going to be between the mean minus the margin of error and the mean plus the margin of error. So this lower confidence limit is going to be the mean minus that margin of error and the upper confidence limit is just going to be the mean plus the margin of error. So we're 95 percent confident that the uh, restaurant on October 30th, 2016 will make B2. 
between 2437 and 2899. But wait, you say, shouldn't we take into consideration the football? Is October 30th going to be a football day? If it is, shouldn't, shouldn't we just use football information? And the answer is absolutely, and I want you to make that argument. And you can say, wait, wait a minute, October 30th was not a f home football game, so shouldn't we exclude all football games from our data set? Absolutely correct. Make that argument. There's a lot of ways of subsetting this data. I want you to make the argument that your way is correct. If all you do is include all the data, guaranteed it's not going to be correct. So, there we go. Confidence interval is from 2437 to 2899 with a point estimate, a best guess of what we're going to make on October 30th of $2,668.47. And that's it. Now all we have to do is include this in the, in the upload to D2L. Also write this up nice and neat. Get a histogram in there, but we already know how to do histograms. Um, and explain ourselves. And that's it. So hopefully this was pretty helpful for you. It was rather straightforward. We were just using the formula for the confidence interval and, and putting it out in, in explicitly, um, just like we did back in one of our Friday videos. So have a great day, and I will talk to you all later.